Prisma 5 faster by default. Like, that's good, right? I, I do like my defaults to be better. So this is good. All right, Prisma 5 introduces changes. So, hey, by the way, I should probably put a little bit of context on this. Why am I reading this? What are we talking about with Prisma? What are we doing with Prisma? Well, the reason why we're doing this is yesterday we read an article that was like a seething review of Prisma. And so I want to give Prisma a better chance, a chance to do, you know, what they're doing. Because often you find that seething reviews sometimes are due to, not often, sometimes you find that they're actually skill issues and they're not actual problem issues. So Prisma, let's have Prisma give a chance at showing that they're super awesome. Because I've heard nothing but, I mean, I've heard so many great things about Prisma. So I'd be shocked if the seething review is actually 100% correct. Okay, anyways, these changes especially improve the experience of using Prisma in serverless environments thanks to a new and more efficient JSON-based wire protocol that Prisma clients use under the hood. I mean, Jason, I mean, I get it. I get what you're trying to say. Okay, uh, improved startup performance in Prisma Client. From Prisma 4.8.0, we have doubled down on our efforts to improve Prisma's performance and developer experience. In particular, we focus on improving Prisma's startup performance in serverless environments. In our quest to improve Prisma's performance, we unearthed a few inefficiencies, which we tackled. Okay, okay, so they're trying to make things better. Uh, to illustrate the difference, since we began investing our efforts in improving performance, we consider the following graphs. Okay. The first graph represents the startup performance of apps deployed on AWS Lambda with comparatively large Prisma schema with 500 models before we begin our efforts to improve it. Okay. Prisma Client, uh, Prisma Connect, uh, Prisma Find Many. Uh, wow, that's a, that's a lot, of, lot of units. Okay. What's this one? This one's Schema Builder, DB Connection. Uh, DMMF. I don't know what that stands for. Dungeon Master Mother. Uh, and then DB Query. Okay. Okay. The following graphs show Prisma 5's performance after our work on performance improvements. Okay. So they've really improved Find Many. That's good. I mean, I think that this looks good to me. I I I, I like that. It 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 appears to be an order of magnitude better. Okay. Okay. Well done. Well done. I wonder if they talk about the bottleneck here. So th that's good. Okay, that's good. As you can see, there's a significant improvement in uh, Prisma startup performance. We'll dig in and discuss the various changes that got us to improve state. A more efficient JSON-based wire protocol. Prior to Prisma 4.11, uh, Prisma used GraphQL-like protocol to communicate between Prisma client and the query engine. I always thought this was strange. I think this is also just like a Prisma thing. It sounds like you still have the Prisma engines. You still do some sort of IPC interprocess communication or maybe some sort of local host loopback call, whatever whatever. Uh, you know, I don't really love that. I don't really love that idea. Uh, just in general, especially if you're just doing a server, not serverless serverless, you kind of go, you know, you're just like performance, just make it happen because you just, you know, the garbage collection, cleanup system calls, all that crap. That's all on, that's all on them. I just want my stuff to work. But if you're running your own server, you know, increasing all the things leads to slower RPS, you know? So I'm not a big fan of that, but I can understand why they're kind of doing it. This came with a few quirks that impacted Prisma's client's performance, especially on cold starts in serverless environments. Okay, so this is probably a targeted serverless change is my guess. Um, I really do hope that they also, because uh, I, I, yesterday's seething article really was about joins. So I really hope that they talk about that. Uh, during our performance exploration, so for those that don't know, joins are done like in their Rust client. And I think, I think that it's because they assume Mongo underneath the hood or there's some sort of defaulting to MongoDB. And so if you're using Postgre, you're not getting, you know, you're, you're effectively neutering the database and using Rust as a, as a means to join, right? And so hopefully they talk about that. Uh, during our performance exploration, we noticed that the current implementation added a considerable CPU and memory overhead, especially for larger schemas. Reasonable. Reasonable. People are still suffering from web, uh, web scale these days. I know. It's crazy. Uh, one of our solutions was to alleviate the issue, uh, was a complete redesign of our wire protocol. Using JSON, we were able to communicate between Prisma client and the query engine uh, significantly more efficient. We released the feature behind the JSON protocol feature. Okay. I'm surprised they used a JSON. You know, like, because I would assume that their protocol is fairly unchanging and that it would probably be easier to use a, a more efficient protocol betwixt the two you know what i mean I, I i'm still a little bit surprised about that protobuf flat buffers some sort of binary communication something that just makes a bit more sense than json because json by itself that when you do it in javascript you're effectively ensuring higher garbage collection right 
Jason feels fast because we're slow, stupid humans, but Jason overall can be a big performance tank, especially when you can't like say ring buffer out your memory, right? That's where you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of good stuff from that. Uh, before we begin work on performance, the average cold start request looked like this. Okay, so I I assume these things are all concurrent. Internals is that like the engine? It must be some sort of engine. It's weird that these lines meet up, so there must be some sort of like thing that happens. The ski the connect. The underlying database connection, once that's done, then the find many happens, which then the DMMF down mother dungeon master. I don't know what it stands for. Then the actual DB query. Okay. Uh, let's see. After enabling our JSON protocol uh, preview review, the graph looks like this. I am super curious about this. How did the DB connection, how did that happen? How does that get so much smaller when you have JSON versus graph quill? Like how is Gra how is graph quill adding a whole entire second it doesn't that doesn't seem right something about this something about this seems incorrect because also again why is find many also massively smaller something else they had to do something else because that makes no sense that just adding a, J a json uh, protocol causes causes things that shouldn't change really you know what i mean Tons of loading time primers and like uh, huge amounts. Like I know, but like what? Okay, okay, can, can probably tons. I know, but what is the loading time? Huge chain of dependencies. Okay, but is Graph Quill that big? Is that what we're hearing? Well, it's not just Prisma Connect. If you look at the graph, if you look at the graph, it's both Prisma Connect and Find Many, right? Whatever this is. So this uh, they don't define DDM uh, DD uh, D M M F. I really wish they would define that because they don't. They literally don't say it once in here. And this purple disappears in this graph. There's no more purple. So what is it? What is the purple? What is? Can can someone tell me what it is? Does anyone know what data model meta format? Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, it's a data model meta format. It, it is an AST syntax of the data model in the form of JSON. The whole Prisma client just is generated based on the D DMMF. I'm still super confused how that took. I mean, I guess I don't know the problem. Real talk, I don't know the problem. I don't know the problem, so I can't speak to it. But again, I'm very confused why this right here. Again, why, how did the query get smaller? How did how did Connect get so much smaller? There are market uh, targets, fresh gens using serverless, and forget that no real company uses it. Well, a lot of companies use serverless. I'm not gonna I'm not going to argue against that. Um, obviously, it's much quicker now. I just wanted to know why. I'm just super confused. Like, how big was this other client? Because that's what it says to me is that. But that's like a one time cost. Because when you use something like import. You do not lazy load any of your JavaScript. You load everything. That's one of the problems with import that people don't realize is that tree shaking also means that you get uh, like like get f right. Like that's what it means because now you have these huge parse times uh, instead of like having only the parse times you need as they come. So there is a there is some things. Well, I mean, obviously functions. If you wrap things in functions, you also get a lot of the parse time benefits. You know, so if you wrap things in functions, functions often don't get parsed. It's just like the top level thing, and then it keeps on going, right? It's a one-time cost. I know, but that's what I assume this one-time cost is. Because one second of JavaScript can process millions of objects on pretty commoditized hardware. So how are you spending a second doing that? How are you spending this long doing it, right? I just, I have a lot of questions here long before any of these things, but fine, we can move on. After a lot of great feedback from our users and extensive testing, we're excited to announce that just some protocol is now generally available. I love the capital G, capital A. Generally, like, is that a known term? Is this like some sort of thing that I need to figure out about? And it is by default wire protocol in the Prisma client we'll use under the hood. So if you're interested in further details, we wrote an extensive blog post that goes in depth into the change we made to improve uh, Prisma's client startup performance. Okay. So this could be some sort of good follow-up or something to look at, but so they must have done something there. All right, smaller JavaScript runtime and optimized internals. Okay, that's good. Besides changing our protocol, we made a lot of changes that impacted Prisma's performance. With the new JSON-based uh, wire protocol becoming the default, we took an opportunity to clean Prisma's client's dependencies. This included cutting Prisma's client's dependency in half. Good. Most code you use, you barely need any of it, and you often, like, it's one of the problems of JavaScript. It's that, you know, that article we read about left pad? People reach for a dependency 
so fast that most of the things you can do are very, very simple and narrow scoped. And removing the previous graph wheel like protocol implementations, this reduced the execution time and the amount of memory that Prisma clients used. Nice. Awesome. Okay, that's positive. We also optimized the internals of the query engine, specifically the parts responsible for transforming the Prisma schema when the query engine is started and establish the database connection. Also, we now lazily generate the strings for the names of many types in the query schema, which improves the memory usage of the Prisma clients and leads to significant runtime. Okay, that makes sense because if you have enough items doing it all up front when you only use a little bit of it, that does seem a little silly, right? There's your problem. Graph wheel like sounds like it was, uh, yeah. That that probably sounds like it was hand-rolled, yes, because it's like. It's not even graph quill. It's like it, you know? Je sens certe de. Oh, someone's talking about something, something. Uh, it wouldn't, let's see. Uh, I also wouldn't be surprised uh, if there are many, many, many messages between the engine and the client. So serialization and deserialization was probably way slower in graph quill land than in JSON. Yeah, that's probably reasonable. Uh uh, where the JSON is fast because it's not actually JavaScript to decode. Yep, yep. Uh, well, actually, JavaScript decoding of uh, JSON, I think, is currently faster or on par with Rust. And one of the reasons why is that, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Saturday still doesn't have that good old-fashioned SIMD uh, in their in their JSONing, whereas whereas like the the JavaScript V8 JSONing is ridiculously fast. You know what I mean? It's ridiculously fast. So, I mean, JSON's pretty good. Uh, that's right. That's what I'm saying. Is JSON serialization and deserialization is already really fast. And yes, it is. Okay, that makes sense. Compared to hand-rolling your own thing. Yes. Hand-rolling your own thing is almost always a bad idea. You're absolutely right. Sorry. My bad. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right. In addition, connection establishment and Prisma schema transformation now happen in par parallel instead of running sequentially as they did before. Okay. Uh... Before we made these three changes, the graph uh, the graph looked like uh, this. Okay, so we have uh, we have import Prisma. Okay, that takes a little bit of time there. Uh, connect, find many, do this DB query. Okay, uh, after making these changes, the response time was cut from two thirds. I'm, it's interesting. So what does this thing do? The schema builder. How does schema builder work? Oh, DB connection. Oh, I see what happened. So DB connection. And then this goes to right here. Again, one thing that always keeps confusing me is that when they say this little feature right here again, is that they run something in parallel. So they show us something in parallel. And what this says to me is this one's larger. This one is like absolutely tiny. How did it improve DB query? I think you have a measurement issue. To me, this seems like you measured something once and you called it a graph. It was better and you called it a graph, which may or may not necessarily be the best way of doing things because this makes no sense, right? Like, how is, how is DB query faster? It just, how is this thing faster? How is schema builder faster if it's just running in parallel? Right? Like, I would expect this bar to be approximately the same and this bar to be approximately the same, which it does look like it. So it looks like these two are approximately the same. So they're, they're, they're the same. Read the other article also. Yeah. Connection establishment... Oh, plus these, t oh, okay, 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 my bad, okay, so there is some other stuff, okay, I thought it was just that one, sorry, my bird brain couldn't have all that in memory, I, I'm not rust, uh, request now leaves a very small footprint for a zoomed in comparison on how the changes impact Prisma client, okay, uh, the first graph shows the impact of JSON based wire protocol, okay, before JSON, okay, good, this looks like a great, this looks like a much better graph, even though this find many is a little odd, how you know maybe that's part of that maybe that's part of the whole decoding that's actually taking a lot less time cool okay so decoding takes a lot less time i guess that makes sense because now we have this whole no more graph wheel like and so therefore it's faster okay i can buy it hi youtube the following graph shows prisma clients performance after we optimize the internals and reduce the size of the javascript runtime perfect try out prisma 5 and share your feedback we encourage you to upgrade to prisma 5 and uh and are looking forward to hearing your feedback prisma 5 is a major version increment and comes with a few breaking changes we expect only a few users will be affected by the changes however before upgrading we recommend that you check out our upgrade guide to understand the impact on your application okay so one thing they didn't address which I am still the most concerned about. So the thing about Prisma that most concerns me is none of these items, though this is great stuff. I didn't realize how slow this was, so this is fantastic. Great work, Prisma. You did an amazing job. Joins. Your query engine still does the joins itself as opposed to what the database does. Or is that a misunderstanding from the previous article we read? 
I would love to hear more about that, how you handle joins and all that, because for me, that feels like a no-go, right? So I would love, still do many DB queries? No, it's not. So so I, like for me, I, I that's like a no-go, right? For me, that's a full-on no-go if you can't do simple joins without doing da 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 does right? And so that's, you know, it's important for me. It's important for me, okay? Um, this is an exceptionally long performance article, so we'll we'll do this. Uh, will we do this? We can do this another time. This is exciting. I'll read it another time. We got the main takeaway. We'll read it another time. But what about the DX? I don't care about DX nearly as much as I care about performance, okay? I find DX is completely subjective. If you can write raw squeal, it's really not that hard. So are you really buying something? Maybe if you feel more comfortable. Database migrations, huge argument for Prisma. Prisma apparently has amazing database like uh, migration stuff and all that. So I can totally buy that. I'm on your team. That sounds great. But is it that hard? I, th I think sometimes we 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 do these things. I know I've seen you. I've seen you mention this many times. I hear it. I hear you. I've already said that. Uh, DX actually reads dicks. It does. It could be. Um, so I, I understand that. They aren't trying to replicate squeal uh, type joins over models. Like, aren't they trying to? Yeah, I think they are. They uh, Aren't they in entirely different models? They they are, but I think they also work with Postgres. Is that true? Do they work with Postgre? Drizzle. Drizzle seems like um, a, squeal builders seem like the best. Squeal builders seem like the best thing. I don't want to be harsh on Prisma unduly right i have a very simple requirement i want joins i think I, I i think me personally i find squeal builders better but that's a me personal um again is that true yes oh we use prisma and prod with postgres and serverless uh so this will help a lot okay so there you go so this will help a lot so exactly this right there so a good orm should take into account the benefits and the negativities of each type of database like this is one of the reasons why orms are so amazing is that you don't have to know all the cool things to make your query fast it should do it for you right like that's part of it and so if you're are if you're if you're truly just getting roadblocked because of that it seems incorrect second off prisma and plus also only being ts i think is always a disaster i think you should try to build something in many different languages uh if you're trying to be like the the go-to for everything um you know, just me. So ba uh, so basic apps is pretty much enough to pull DB connections and spend hours writing the queries. I mean, are you really writing queries that long? Is select star really that hard? You know, uh, Prisma still doesn't return the total items for pagination with a single query. So you have to send two requests. Yeah, see, there's a lot of these kind of things which are very, very hard to do, right? This is, But this is more of like a typical ORM problem than anything else. Is ORMs are really hard. This is why query builders tend to be really nice it's why i generally rely on uh query builders because for that it makes a lot more sense because that way you can kind of craft the thing you want and it supposedly is going to give you the best query uh you know what i mean so uh base squeal knowledge it doesn't take uh it doesn't take much to learn absolutely it takes almost nothing most of what you'll be doing in sql is extremely simple it's not it's not crazy. I've heard of I've heard of this. I've never used it. All right. Anyways. I like where you're going, Prisma. Keep at it. I'm also ignorant in the topic, so don't take my word as gospel. A gen. 